Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Nick. In this video, we're going to talk about the Tomos A3 and why this bike is a work of art. All right, so notice why I said a work of art. This bike right behind me is a Tomos A3 1986. So this bike was built in 1986 back in Yugoslavia. You can tell that the bike is old because the country Yugoslavia doesn't even exist anymore. So that's the first thing. And that means since it's from 1986, it's 36 years old. So this bike is an old timer. This video is a little bit different than usual. I'm not in my studio slash room. But yeah, I thought today we're going to talk about this bike and why I think this bike is awesome. All right, so let's talk about the statistics. Like I said before, it's 36 years old and it's from 1986. So back in the day when Yugoslavia was still a country, that's when they were making these incredible bikes. And what I mean about incredible is because they run so well for such a long time. I don't know how they built these bikes, but they last forever. Now, obviously this bike is not completely original. I mean, it is original, but it's made out of different parts from other bikes, unfortunately. But there are still models out there that are completely original. So that's very rare. But uh, yeah, there are people that own these bikes. So let's talk about the statistic. This is the Tomos A3, which means it's automatic. Just like here, you can see all the signs that it is made in Yugoslavia and, it's just, and it is an automatic, which means it has two gears, the first one and the second one. It has a 49 CCM simple two stroke engine. So it's not that powerful, but it's a very comfortable cruise. Now these bikes are made completely different than now, these days, modern bikes. You can already see from the brakes and everything, the way the brakes work is completely different. These bikes don't have discs like modern uh, bicycles or bikes have. These brakes are made very different. Now it does have a headlamp, uh, which is also handy. It has a horn and everything. But because it's so old, it doesn't have turn signals. But these days they are required if you want to ride on the road. Now, unfortunately, I don't have them installed right now. The older models don't have turn signals, so you have to use your hand. Just like back in the day, old cars didn't have turn signals as well. So you need to put your hand out to be able to show where you're going when you're turning. So that's, so that's very funny and different. But yeah, that's how it is. Now this bike also has a nice seat that you can put up and put some things in if you want to do that. It has a lamp on the back side and on the front like I said. And yeah, it's just an awesome bike. Now obviously you can see that it looks very old because it's obviously 36 years old and it looks a little bit damaged. This is actually my dad's bike. His parents bought this bike for him when he was young. And yeah, we are lucky to still have one. And now let's talk about how tough it actually is. Like I said before, these bikes are incredibly tough and I truly mean that. Now we had this bike forever. My dad got it for, I don't know which age exactly, but yeah. Now, like I said before, it's not made out of original parts. Like a few things have been changed on this bike and taken away from other bikes that weren't working and put on this bike. So this bike can still run. Um, it did break down a few times, but we were able to fix it. But what I'm trying to say, these bikes are incredibly tough. And in my opinion, in the future or even nowadays, bikes will never last that long as something like this, the Tomos A3 or pretty much any kind of Tomos model back in the day. They are super tough and very durable. They last for a very long period of time. So that's just incredible. Now, obviously, it depends on how you ride and if you, you know, keep the bike in nice shape and everything. Uh, yeah, the bike will run forever. Now the next thing that I want to talk about is obviously this bike is not made for long distances. This bike is nowadays meant for like short cruises or just to take a nice slow ride. I don't know around my village or something like that. Obviously these bikes are not made for longer roads and longer trips. And I can't wait in the future when like imagine like 30, 40 years and still having one of these bikes. That's going to be insane in my opinion, like older vehicles are just going to get that insane value because nowadays, obviously not only are bikes built different, pretty much any kind of vehicle is built very different these days, but it also looks very different. You can see that this is 
36 years old just from the style and the way it looks it's very unique than how we are building vehicles today now i know this video was completely different from what i usually do i usually make videos about filmmaking and photography and now I'm reviewing this bike, which is just a completely different thing. But when I was like thinking about what kind of video I want to make to like have fun and like present something fun. And I was like, let's make a video about this bike because I feel like it's very unique and you don't see these types of bikes that often. Now where I live, I know quite a lot of people that own these bikes still, but on different sides of the world, People have never probably seen these bikes because these bikes were made in Europe, in Yugoslavia, like I said, a, a country that now doesn't exist anymore. So this thing is not that common uh, in other sides of the planet, I guess what I'm trying to say. And yeah, uh, I hope this video was fun to watch. I mean, I had a really fun time filming it and it is something different, which I really enjoy doing. Just, you know, getting ideas and trying to achieve what I had in my mind uh, is awesome. So I hope you did enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did enjoy it, leave a like down below, drop a comment, follow me on my other social medias, and yeah, join my community. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.